Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I'm Dr. Muskan and I'm starting my set of nights today. It's Monday and I have Monday to Thursday nights. That's 9 p.m. to 9.30 a.m. So I thought like why not just vlog it. A lot of you had told me and you guys have asked me, you know, like how nights um, in the gen med uh, department is and how it's like a bit different compared to India. So I thought like why not just vlog it um yeah so it's um gonna be 7 p.m so just made my coffee and just gonna have dinner and hope that the night shift's not that bad <laughs> even though like i hate doing nights i'm just way too nervous for these set of nights and i don't even know why i think a part of me is just like scared because i haven't done nights in a long time so yeah, I'm really hoping that it's not that bad and it's bearable and I can actually just survive at the end of the week. It's finally time, but uh, I am not ready for this night shift and I don't even know how it's going to be. But I really hope that it's not as bad as I'm thinking that it's going to be. It's like 12 a.m. and yeah, I'm able to actually manage stuff and it's not that bad as I actually thought that it would be. It's calm and manageable and the team's actually really nice so I'm actually enjoying nights way more than days which I actually didn't expect that I would. It's 7.30 a.m. and I just can't wait for this shift to get over. I'm so glad that it went okay, I mean, way better than I expected it to be, but now I'm way too sleepy because I couldn't really sleep, so I just want to go back and sleep, but there's still like one and a half hours left, and I hope there's no more red calls, I mean, I just attended one, so... It's day two. Uh, actually, last night wasn't that um, bad like I expected it to be. And again, there were like normal cases which I have seen in the world before during day on calls and you know, some emergency cardiac arrest, verification of death, and if someone's just um, started scoring. So you have to just go do the initial management and um, see what you can do to stabilize the patient. So yeah, that way like, it was manageable and I was sort of like proud that I was just able to manage everything and I wasn't that scared and I actually got through the night. And yeah, it's like second night now and I was barely like asleep. I just, I just can't sleep during the day and uh, I just kept waking up and now I have no idea how I'm going to survive the night. Hopefully it's not going to be that hectic and it's a bit bearable. But yeah, I'm just gonna have like a yogurt bowl and coffee. That's the first caffeine for the night <laughs> and then start. And hopefully it's not gonna be that bad. <laughs> Definitely just the night. It's already like 3.30 and I don't think I'm gonna get any sleep tonight. It's night number three today and now I'm just like, oh, I'm halfway there and it's gonna be fine. And I want this to end because I clearly am not a night person and it's a struggle to stay up. But being a doctor is not easy. Uh, last night was super hectic. I think till around 5 a.m. And then I was a, a bit calm. But then we had like plenty of red calls. We had like chest pain. Uh, people who were just short of breath. PE and um, 
just people who needed like blood transfusion and who had like hemoglobin drop so yeah it was just a very very hectic night but fortunately like my team this week is is great the night team and their funds are great and yeah we were able to manage everything but yeah it was just super tiring and um, now it's like every part of my body hurts because i've been trying to like just take naps on like chair and i don't even know it's just like before my people start sleeping just sleep just like take a nap for like 10 15 minutes but now every part of my body hurts because i've just been taking naps on like chairs tables just anything i just put my head down and i'm just like uh i just need like five minutes to just breathe <laughs> but hopefully today is not gonna be that bad but can never say it's a hospital Today is like the last night, and oh my god, like last night, like previous night was just chaotic, and I didn't even like get time to record or like anything, and I was just so exhausted. I just wanted to sleep. Any time I got, I was like, oh, I have to take a nap before like another bleep just goes off. And then today, I just could not get up from the bed, and I'm just like, ah, oh, just trying to get up it's like the last night it's okay it's gonna be fine and i'm just in that phase where i'm just like oh just <laughs> get it over with i wanna just sleep properly i don't like this whole change of sleep cycle and i know i have to do this again because i have weekend nights the next weekend but i'm just like i want this weekend to just relax and the moment I woke up, like my close friend just texted me something and that was like really cute. And she was just like, if you're anxious or like annoyed or anything, um, it's okay. Just look forward to your weekend and it's all going to be fine. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was just really cute. Like I, it's like the small things that really matter to me. And that was really cute. Like I called her up and I'm like, ah, oh, that was like really cute. Thank you. <laughs> but... <laughs> I don't think I'm ready uh, for the night. Like my head still hot. Coffee is just not enough, and I don't know what's gonna be enough. And just I'm just gonna hope that it's not as chaotic as yesterday or the previous nights. And it it's like all calm. No one's like really extremely like sick, sick, and uh, everyone's just like peacefully just sleeping and resting but yeah um it's a hospital cannot predict anything so let's just see how the fourth night goes but yeah yesterday there were like a lot of lot of red calls for chest pain and i think there were like i think two three people having cardiac arrest at the same time and it got like extremely chaotic i am definitely not ready for this shift, even like one percent. Last uh, two hours, two hours left, and yeah, I mean, this shift wasn't that bad, fortunately, and it was pretty okay. And now I'm just like in the morning running around and then doing some tasks because I mean they're not urgent but then just gotta complete them before I leave so just on that and yeah just really excited to just leave the hospital for three days and not see the face of it